Snapshot 24W03A is out. In addition to the gameplay changes I've already detailed in my other video, this one is also a fairly chunky one with technical news, including data pack version 28 with lots of new tags and new advancement triggers, resource pack version 24 with font news, and the transfer packets. My name is Sly Slime, and I'm here to show you all these changes. Let's start with the transfer packets. This has been a long requested addition that now lets servers direct players to automatically connect to another server. This is useful for instance to transfer players to servers geographically closer to them to reduce lag or keep separate servers for separate worlds or minigames. When transferring to another server the client will maintain the set of loaded resource packs. By default servers will not accept transfers. To change this set the new accepts transfers field in the server.properties file to true. Together with this, a second new packet called a cookie packet has been introduced. This lets the server store up to 5 kilobytes of data with a game client that can then be read out later on, for instance by another server that the game has transferred to. These cookies are only stored for that play session, so once the player disconnects fully, the data is removed. Let's talk about data packs, where the pack version is now 28, which comes with new advancement criteria triggers. This comes in the heel of a change to the item used on block trigger, which made it less useful in certain cases. There are two new triggers. The first one is called Default Block Use, which triggers when a player interacts with a block using its default interaction, like opening a door. The second new trigger is Any Block Use, which triggers when a player interacts with a block in any way, including both using items on blocks or interacting with them without an item. This pack version also has a new game rule for the size of the spawn chunks, measured in chunks from the center, called Spawn Chunk Radius. This game rule ranges from 0 to 32, with a default value of 2. The ID of the enchantment Sweeping Edge has changed from Minecraft colon Sweeping to Minecraft colon Sweeping Edge. And there are new tags. Let's start with entity type tags and ignores poison and regen for entities that cannot be affected by poison and regeneration effects by default all undead mobs. Illager friends is all entities that illagers consider to be allies unless they are placed on different teams. Inverted healing and harm is all entities for which healing hurts and harming heals. Not scary for pufferfish is all entities that don't make pufferfish puff. Sensitive to Bane of Arthropods and Sensitive to Impaling are, well, those are left as an exercise for the viewer. And finally, Wither Friends are all entities that the Wither will not attack and that cannot harm the Wither. There are also new convenience collection tags Aquatic, Arthropod and Illager. These don't do anything in and of themselves, but they are used in other tags. The Update 1.21 pack also has a new Deflects Projectiles tag, which replaces the old Deflects Arrows and Deflects Tridents tags. There are also new item tags. Collection tags here too. Foot armor, leg armor, chest armor, head armor and skulls. These are used by new enchantability tags under the Enchantable folder. The complete list is on screen now. Finally, there's a block tag for armadillo spawnable on, with the blocks armadillos can spawn on. In data news, villager trade offers now have a new option called ignore tags, which can be set to 1 to make the villager accept the item regardless of the tags on it. And in command news, some follow-ups for the tick command, including the compass not working when the game was frozen. Illagers and witches now work correctly with teams. And we also have a huge amount of follow-ups for the new attributes. First of all, the block reach and entity reach attributes are now player attributes rather than generic ones. That means you now need to use player.block interaction range and player.entity interaction range to refer to them. The entity interaction range is no longer capped by the block interaction range. Boat placements and buckets with water and lava now respect the block interaction range attributes and you can now open inventories at the right range. And finally, lots of fixes for the scale attributes. Slime particles now respect the scale of the slime. Wither particles now show up in the right place for rescaled withers, and they also shoot wither skulls from the right locations. Evoker and Illusioner particles now show up in the right place, as does Phantom Wing particles. The hitbox of rescaled shulkers is now the appropriate size. The Warden's Zonic Boom Beam now comes from the right place for rescaled Wardens. An upside down and also rescaled mob is now in the right place. 
and rescaled villagers sleeping now do so with the right offset. Interacting with a rescaled armor stand now has the different armor slots in the right locations. You no longer get the suffocation overlay when you walk across slightly lower blocks like path blocks with a very small scale and you can no longer breathe at the bottom of the ocean. The model in the inventory no longer scales out of the available space. 24W03A also comes with the resource pack version 24, which changes the TTF font provider transforms so they now have reasonable defaults. Shift is no longer applied double, which makes it now represent a number of pixels in the in-game UI scale. The font EM square is now fitted to size pixels in the game UI scale instead of between the font ascender and descender. The baseline is now positioned consistently with the default font, which is 7 pixels below the line top. The end result of all this is that any font with a size of 9 and a shift of 0 should look correct by default. And that, finally, is the end of the changes in this version. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.